Hey there, my name is Alexander Sergenka and today we'll go over the different types of compilation in Java. We'll look at static or AOT and dynamic or JIT compilation. I hope you find it interesting. But before we begin, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Let us begin without further ado. There are at least two types of compilation in Java, static and dynamic. Let's see how they differ. Assume you're creating an application with only one class. When the work is finished, you should definitely run this code. What goes on under the hood? By using Java C, your code is stored that is compiled into the bytecode. The JVM's bytecode is a set of commands, and a bytecode can be thought of as a representation of a middle code. Of course, your code must function in a certain environment, and all bytecode instructions must be transformed into processor friendly instructions. When your code is run, the JVM interpreter examines the bytecode line by line and uses a dictionary to transform each command into a machine statement. The interpreter is a fantastic tool. It has almost zero startup cost because no time is spent for compiling. However, this comes at the price of efficiency. The approach of having each line of a bytecode interpreted one at a time is pretty slow. The JVM can detect the most frequently used code segments or so-called hot blocks. The compiler converts these blocks into machine instructions, which are far more efficient than sequential interpretation at the runtime, because such blocks are subjected to both compilation and parallel optimization. The type of compiler is commonly referred to as C1 compiler. The compiled code is stored in the code cache. The C2 compiler enters the stage after the code has been running for some time and the JVM has profiled the key routes within the application. It performs more intensive optimizations and modifies the code cache instructions generated by C1. We could choose which compiler to use before Java 7, and C1 was faster but supplied fewer resource-efficient optimizations, whereas C2 was slower and less resource-efficient but offered great optimizations and was good for server-side applications. Since Java 8, it's possible to use both C1 and C2 simultaneously. Exactly what types of optimizations are we discussing? They are remove the code that is not used or dead code analysis, moving objects which are created inside methods and new never return to the stack instead of the heap or escape analysis, combining, unrolling and inverting loops, relocating small method bodies within calling methods, method and lining. If only one thread uses the lock, it is removed, or lock removal. If a variable is never null, it removes a null check code or null check removal, and many others. Both C1 and C2 do not stop the applications during execution. Why not just use pre-compilation? So why do we need to execute an interpreter first and then translate hot blocks to machine code using GIT just-in-time compilation? Why not just pre-compile and run the entire code or employ ahead-of-time compilation? AOT compilation creates compiled code that is tied to the environment for which it was compiled. It cannot be transferred to another hardware architecture. It is not cross-platform. The compiled code is loaded straight into the code cache. Since Java 9, we have an opportunity to compile Java code directly to machine instructions using JOTC. So what we have discussed so far? Let us summarize our conclusions. If portability is critical, use bytecode. Initially, bytecode is interpreted line by line, one at a time. C1 compiler does fast yet not very efficient optimizations. C2 compiler does relatively slow but efficient optimizations. AOT compilation means that the whole code is pre-compiled directly into machine instructions by passing an interpreting stage. 
The code cache is used to store compiled code blocks generated by C1 or C2 or to load pre-compiled machine instructions directly. Today we have discussed the compilation types in Java. I believe it was interesting. Thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel and have a great day. Bye.